Hey guys, in this effect house tutorial, I want to show you how you can build a target tracker like this. So yeah, let's go. Hey again, so let's build a target tracker here in effect house. Before we start, please make sure you have ready all the assets to follow along this tutorial. You will need a target and um, this will trigger the target tracker and you also need a image which will appear when we point our phone on the target. If you don't have your own assets yet, um, you can just download some I have created to follow along this tutorial. So go to the description of this video and click on the download link. Then you will end up here on this site and here you can just download those assets. After you have ready your assets, we have to import them. So just open your finder and then just drag and drop the BNG files into your assets bundle. After you have done this, please make sure that you set the compression of those textures to none. So we select the texture here in the assets panel, go to the right hand side and here under compression, we set the compression type to none. And yeah, we do the, this for both of the for both of the images. So when we have imported our images, we can start building the filter. So we go to our scene and click on add object. Then we scroll down to AR tracking and here we can find a target tracker. Click on it and Effect House will automatically create this target tracker for you. There is already a preset texture, so a preset target picture and there will also be a cube that will appear on this target. But we want our um, target and above the picture we also have imported. So yeah, we can set the visibility of this cube to, to none, so it will not show up again. So now we will set our target. For this, we click on the target tracker object on the left hand side in our scene. Then we go to the right hand side and here we can find the target texture. Here there is this default texture set. Just click on it and then select the target picture. So after we have done this, you can already see here in our scene that our target tracker is set. We don't need the visual scripting panel, so you can close this panel so you have more room for the, for the scene here. So now you can already yeah, play around here, you can look around, but yeah, nothing will appear at the moment when you hold your phone on the target tracker. So let's change this. Again, we go to our scene panel here, then we click on add object and now we go to 3D. You can set here any kind of object, but I will do this here with an image because it will be the most common um, use case for such a filter. So I click on image. Now the image is under the general panel, but we won't want it inside of our target tracker. So let's just drag and drop this image into the target tracker. So it disappears when you click on this little arrow at the target tracker. Then it is right. So then click on the image because now we have to set our texture. Go to the right hand side and here change the default texture also to the object. So now hit OK and now this image should be applied on the yeah, on the object. So now when you point your phone on this target tracker, um, you should be able to see something. But here in the scene, we can see the yeah, object, our star here is located very weird. So yeah, we have to get this into the right position. So I will move it a little bit up and then I will also rotate it because yeah, then it will look better. So now when we scan our target, it should be visible. So now when you also move around here, you will see that the object is disappearing when it is underneath the target tracker. This is pretty weird. So yeah, don't be confused about this. As you can see, it is above our target. So now I will just change the size of this. So I will make it a little bit bigger, but I don't want to do this here. 
in this scene with those, with those handles. I will do this here at the transformation panel on the right hand side. So I will just set the scale here to let's say two for all three axes. So and now when you click here on preview in TikTok, you can already test this on your device. So when you um, yeah, point your phone on the target tracker, you should be able to see the star above it. So yeah, this is all the magic about a target tracker here in Effectors. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.